What's going on YouTube? War Eagle here, bringing you another commentary, and this time it's a tutorial on how to record audio and video, I mean how to edit audio and video, and how to record audio, so. Um, basically, you will need two programs for this. You need Audacity and Sony Vegas. Now, Sony Vegas is not free, but Audacity is, and for Sony Vegas there are tutorials out there on how to get it. Uh, which may help you. <laughs> I'm not telling people to pirate it, but uh, I'm just giving you a little tip. There, there's videos out there that can help you do many things. So right away, this may look kind of daunting, but um, I assure you, it's it's pretty simple. It's uh, it takes about a week to adjust this this little pro little system you got going on here. Okay, now what you want to do when you're trying to commentate a video. Um, and you have a crappy mic, uh, first off, or if you just want to edit your audio in general, first off, what you want to do is you want to come up here and click this record button, like I'm about to do. See, it's recording my audio now, and this will actually allow me to uh, edit my audio pretty easily if I record it directly through Audacity and not through Sony Vegas, because if it's Sony Vegas, I have to e export it to Audacity and then I have to save it in Audacity and then I have to put it back into Sony Vegas, and it's a big this cluster and it just takes up space and it's it's just really confusing so I recommend you record it directly through Audacity like I'm doing now at the end of your videos if you have a bad mic you want to leave a small pause uh, which they will not the viewers will never notice it but you will be able to edit your audio far easier if you do this like I'm about to do now okay I've left a small pause that's only a couple seconds long, so let me stop the recording. This pause is plenty enough long for me to edit my video, so I'm going to go ahead and select this. I'll, I'll, hold control, I'll hold control, and I'll press play. Now, as you can see, that's a very annoying noise in the background of my videos. So what I'm going to do to get rid of that noise is to go to Noise Removal get noise profile of course I've already selected the noise I want to remove and make sure that you do not select this where you've actually talked um, unless you want to get rid of that whatever you're selecting up here make sure that whatever you're selecting you want to get rid of uh, so I generally only want to get rid of the the background noise so I've got I've got the noise profile now what I need to do is I need to hold control and then press A and if you can't if you can't do control A for some reason on your computer you want to go to select and then click all and that will select all your audio and allow you to remove all the noise from the background so if you have a longer video this might take a little bit longer but um, I have the default settings here and if depending on your voice and how uh, your, you sound and whatever audio you've got in there you might want to switch this up just so it doesn't get, delete that uh, generally it only deletes what you've selected that's why I recommend you uh, leave a small interval somewhere in your video that you can find easily and delete the background noise because it will only delete that that specific noise and if there's like a a, a point in your your voice where you make a, a, a hissing noise that sounds just like it uh, it might delete that but that's about it so it's pretty good for uh, only deleting what you want so yeah so I'll just select this again and you can and notice it's, it's completely flat now so I'll just go ahead and play this again no noise at all I'll play, I'll play a small section. Like I'm about to do now. Yeah, see? Okay. There's no background noise at all, which is awesome. Because before it had that annoying hissing noise that would have annoyed many people who paid attention to what I was actually saying. And they may not be able to hear me at some point because it would, out, it would drown me out. But after you've done that and you've edited out your video, and of course, I want to quickly mention you can like... Um, you can delete sections of the video pretty easily. Okay? Okay. Now I want to delete this. Just like that. It's gone. Completely gone. I have brought this. There you go. That's pretty simple. If you said if you coughed into the mic or whatever, you can easily delete it with some, with Audacity. This is just a basic tutorial on um some of the things you can do and how I, I like to do my videos. Now once you've completed your file and you've edited and took out all the parts you wanted to you can do export under file and then you can go here 
and you just type out the name you want, put it wherever you want, where you make sure you can find this, by the way, and then you just save as, but you want to save it as a wave, okay, or an MP3, I guess, you can save it as an MP3, but uh, I recommend a wave, because it saves pretty quick, and it's really good audio. Now, once you've done that, and you've saved it, you want to go here, and this is actually Sony Vegas now, so... Uh, it may look daunting again, but again, it's it's not that hard. It's it's pretty simple. It's self-explanatory, really. Uh, first of all, I want to give a small tip to people who are making videos. Uh, you want to right-click on your video and go to Switches, and then you want to go down to Disable Resample. I know you can't see it in the video, but I'll show you again up here. Edit, Switches, Disable Resample. You want to click this, and now... On every video that you that you put in the Sony Vegas, uh, you have to do this again uh, until you've rendered it. Because actually, what Disable Resample does is it messes up the the quality of your video a little bit, and it can be kind of annoying. And it makes your video look a thousand times better. Uh, on top of that, I think it makes it load a little bit easier. It renders a little bit quicker. Now, I want to quickly tell you something about uh, audio. Now, there's two ways. There's two bars here. Oh, there's about to be two bars anyways. So I'm just going to open up a random um, audio thing I've saved. Let me see if I can find one. Libraries, videos. Uh, but yeah, you want to make sure you can find your audio. So just open this up. Place this down here. Now this is... Uh, in older, older commentary, so it doesn't match the video quite well, but um, I don't think. But uh, what you want to do is this is actually the the video audio, which is actually the the background noise of the Call of Duty game. So now, if you notice, you could hear some people talking in the background. They could be kind of annoying in the video. So what I want to do is I want to lower this down to about this third line. Uh, that will actually lower it enough to where uh, explosions and gunshots in the background of the uh, of the, the video uh, will not affect what I actually say here. And if my voice is kind of loud, I can just kind of lower it again. And if that that will actually make it so that it's it's on par with the actual game. If I'm doing like a a live commentary session or something like that, but uh, if you have a good mic, you can just load the game up in here, uh, and you can just press this. And start. Oh, by the way, start at the very start, or wherever you want to put the audio. And then you press this little button, this little record button, and it will actually start the video. And you can just talk over it and say whatever you want for how long ever you want. So that's easier to do than Audacity if you have a good mic. Um, but I quickly want to tell you uh, or note something to you. Uh, what you want to do if you have a bad mic and you want to do it through Sony Vegas for some reason, I don't know why you would. Uh, it just might seem easier to you. Uh, what you want to do is you want to click that record button, save it wherever you want, uh, and then like like do the file, like record the file, save it wherever you want, and then make sure you can go back in Audacity and you can open it. So once you've opened it in Audacity, you can edit the file, you can t take out the background noise, uh, and then you can render it as a, oh, it's a wave or whatever you want uh, again. So. I just recommend you do that. That's how I've done my videos uh, for the longest time. So, uh, but I generally only use Audacity now. I've, it's so much easier than doing it through Sony Vegas. Now, once you've done the video and you've actually edited your video and you're ready to to move on, you can render as. Now, when you click render as, it might take a little bit, but mine loaded right up for some reason. Uh, but, <laughs> but um. You'll be at a screen like this. It'll have tons of options that you can go into. And I want to quickly tell you to just ignore all this. Just ignore all this other files. Unless, you, unless you're unless you specifically doing something like this. Um, you can actually do it in MP4, actually, if you really want to. MP4s are pretty good. I, I like to do mine in, in WMVs. But, uh, yeah. But um, you can do it. I, the, <laughs> you will not see this option. You'll not see this YouTube 720p option here. This is actually a custom option I made myself. 
Um, I got it off a video that showed me how to specifically upload in the 720p and make it look crisp and clear on YouTube, which uh, I recommend you do. And if you do find an option on here that you really like, I recommend you click the the little favorite button next to it and then click show favorites only. This will make it your this will make your job so much easier because it will actually show you what, exactly what you want. You won't have to scroll through options and stuff like that. So I recommend you do that. But um, yeah, that's about it. I mean, once you've rendered it, you just click render as render here, and that's pretty much it. But um, yeah, and if there's a specific section in your video that you want to render, uh, you can just click the render loop region only, which is actually this little scrolling bar right here. If I can grab it, yeah, I think I stopped my video. But if you can um, grab that little scroll bar there and move it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, see, like this little scroll bar, anything inside this little bar here will actually be rendered. This is the loop region, this little section here. Anything inside this will be rendered. So if you just want to render a specific section or cut out a specific section, that's what you can do. But um, that's about it. I mean, you just upload to the YouTube, upload to the YouTubes, or whatever you're trying to upload to. Uh, once you say it's a WMV, anything, any website should take that pretty much. Any any video website should. Uh, but if it doesn't, there's plenty of other options you can do. You can save it as an MP4 or whatever. And if they won't take that, I don't know what to do because uh, that honestly, that's the best files that you can create for video. So that they should really get up to date with their their freaking video files if they don't take that. But uh, anyways, guys, that's about it. It's a pretty simple process. I mean, it takes a couple weeks to get used to, but once you're once you're through that little stage where you're still getting used to everything and, and organizing your computer it's pretty simple but um comment rate and subscribe i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, catch you guys next time